Welcome back to another episode, and guys, let's get right into it, and let's talk about The Batman vs. Dracula, full-length feature animated film from DC. Now, this film looks great. Unfortunately, yeah, it is on DVD, and you know, once in a while, I mean, lately, with some of these animated features from DC, I've had to pick them up. Some of these older releases have only been available on DVD, so I've had to go that route. But not a problem. It still looks good on DVD, but this film is so good, you guys, that I would love to have seen this on an actual physical Blu-ray release. Now, if you've seen the Batman animated series, the animation pretty much just, just on par with that kind of animation. If not even just a little bit better. Really, really crisp looking with this film. Now, this film picks up. Basically, I mean, you guys can tell where we're going. It's Dracula, guys. The Prince of Darkness. It's Dracula versus the Dark Knight. And right off the bat, you have the pet. You have you go to Arkham Asylum and you have, you know, the penguin finds out, along with Joker, uh, this this hidden treasure that's in this cemetery. Now they, you know, they break out. Now they're on path to try to find this treasure where this is located. Along the way, Joker runs into Batman, and Joker meets his demise. Obviously, it's a Joker, guys. You know he's really not going to meet his demise. But as far as the Batman thinks, he's he's done. He even tells Alfred, you know, tonight, Alfred, Joker met his demise. So, you know, again, but we know that never happens in these, you know, animated features or anything. Comics, movies, whatever. Um, but Penguin, off he goes to the cemetery. But he doesn't uncover a treasure. What he uncovers is Dracula's tomb. You know, Dracula was taken care of in Transylvania by villagers a long time ago, you guys. And now he's basically just, you know, just, he's a skeleton, you know. And he's come to Gotham. Now, he doesn't know, obviously, that, you know, when he does arise, he doesn't realize that, you know, where he is. He's, as far as he knows, he's still in Transylvania. But... You know, that's getting a kind of ahead, you know, of where we're at. Basically, what happens is Penguin, along, you know, along the way trying to find this hidden treasure, cuts his finger, the blood drips onto Dracula's corpse, and he arises once again. So that's basically, you know, we're in, as far as like, you know, where we have, um, you know, it's like Dracula having somebody under their spell, basically making them do their bidding for them. That's where Penguin comes in. He kind of like, you know, has Penguin under his control. As well as trying to make the citizens of Gotham, you know, creatures of the night. As well as his food supply, too. So, we know, you know, that's basically the premise of where this film is going to go. Obviously, you know, he gets invited to Wayne Manor for a um, for a gala event. There he uncovers, you know, there he meets... Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Wayne, because he's just such a smart guy, he's, he's smart, you guys, he uncovers, he, and he, without even hesitation, probably within like the first, you know, 10 minutes, he realized, you know, there's something going on, this guy is Dracula, and, you know, it's, guys, I can't do it anymore just now, I don't want to say too much more about where it goes, but I'm going to tell you, this film you know, if you have a younger audience trying to watch this, they could be frightened. They could, you know, but, you know. And uh, so it's definitely, you know, these anim these DC films, they definitely go a little bit above, more, you know, your, uh, I want to say like more, you know, mature audience. Because this is, you know, this is definitely still aimed, you know, at a younger audience. But there are definitely, there is something, basically what I'm saying, guys, is there's something in this film for everybody, young and old alike. They, you know, they don't, they get DC animated films, except for the ones that are straight up R-rated, they give you just a little bit for everybody, you know, for the entire audience. And this film is no different. You have, you know, Batman trying to uh, protect Vicki Vale, you know, news reporter Vicki Vale. And, you know, again, I don't want to give too much more about where we're gonna, I mean, obviously, we know we know we're gonna get that big Dracula versus Batman fight, and it's good, guys. It's really good. Now, I'm not, I was talking earlier when I started about the Joker. Now, Joker, yeah, he does not meet his demise early on in the film, 
But, you know, no spoilers there, guys. You guys can figure that part, you know, that much out yourselves. But he does show back up in the film. I'm not going to tell you how he shows back up in the film and what happens. Because that is really, really cool. Because there's another fight that happens later on in the film with Batman versus Joker, which is really good. The fights in this film are done very, very well. The and like I said, the animation is really good. The music, you know, the background sounds in this really good for something. You know, I again, this is a film that I don't know why it took me so long to pick it up. I, I really don't. Um, probably because I was kind of just staying away from the you know from the DVD releases and really just trying to get the Blu-ray releases. But you know what, guys? Sometimes you can't do that because you're missing out on some hidden gems and to me i think this is really a hidden gem i i really do you know i mean the batman ran for five seasons but as far as you know individual releases you know movie releases for that series this is right up there this is fantastic i would put this up against any i mean and this is honest truth i would put this up against any of the blu-ray uh dc releases any DC anime release, whether it be even, you know, Blu-ray or DVD, other ones that are released only on DVD, I would put this up against any of those, hands down. Like I said, animation is absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. I mean, you just look at just the image of the Dark Knight on the back. I mean, drawn really well. And I'm trying to see right on the back here, guys. Just bear with me for a second. I'm trying to see who is... Who does the voice of Batman himself? I'm trying to see it on here, guys. But I'm, there's a bunch of names on here on the back. I'm not sure. I don't want to go and say that it's somebody that's, you know, not. But the gentleman, whoever does the voice of Batman on this, he does an excellent, excellent job. Is he Kevin Conroy? No. But not many people are Kevin Conroy. You know, he's, as far as animated Batmans go, he's... Above and beyond, probably, you know, the best. You recognize that voice right away. But this gentleman does a really good job of, you know, portraying Batman, doing his voice, you know, lending his voice to Batman. Now, Joker's design in the film is a little bit different. You know, if you've seen the series, you know what I'm talking about. He has, like, longer green hair. He just has, he has a different kind of design that I'm not really accustomed to seeing Joker have. So, once you get used to that, it's not a problem, but it can be a little, you know, once you see, the first time seeing him, it can be a little jarring to see what, you know, how his, his design is, but overall, once you get used to it, it's not bad at all, it's, it works, Penguin's design works fine as well, you know, this, I would say, with this animation, if you see, you know, Batman, the animated series, this is almost like updated, like a little bit updated, um, version of that, and, like I said, I've seen some of the episodes of The Batman, and so far, I'm hooked. I love it. And this is no different. Absolutely no different. If I can ever find this, like a brand new copy of this, I will definitely go and pick it up. I would like to get one brand new sealed. That would be great. But this is a fantastic, fantastic animated film. You know, not just with Batman, with the gentleman who does Batman, but Dracula is done well, too. I mean, everything. The creatures of the night, you know, his his minions, once he, you know, starts kidnapping some of the uh, the citizens of Gotham, they're creepy. The, the vampires are done really, really well. They're really, they're really creepy for this film, uh, for this animated film. I love it, guys. I'm just like, I can't think of enough things to say. I just, I love it so much. I really, really do. And I just kicked myself for waiting so long to pick it up because... I really want to go watch this again. This is excellent to pull out like at Halloween, you know, around Halloween time. This, this I'm going to be watching when it starts getting closer to that time of year. Because it definitely has that kind of feel. And it's great considering that, you know, with me watching this now and then in what, in June, Batman The Long Halloween Part 1 animated movie comes out. Looking forward to that too, guys. That's going to be fantastic. But this is really good. Excellent, excellent animated film. Really worth adding in to your anime. You know, if you have an animation, you know, animated collection, DC collection, doesn't matter. Don't let it, you know, don't he be hesitant because it is on DVD. It, don't knock it for that. Yeah, I mean, yes, would it look beautiful on Blu-ray? Absolutely. But does it look good on DVD? It does. It really does. So I would give this guy, on a scale of 1 to 10, 
I'm going to give this a 9. This is darn near perfect for me. It really is. So I'm going to give this a 9. And yeah, check this one out, guys. The Batman versus Dracula. You can still get the, you know, check this out on Amazon. Again, you probably got to get a used copy if you want to off of Amazon. I went the way of Macari, and I don't regret getting it, guys. Absolutely. The only thing I, like I said, the only thing I do regret is waiting so long to pick it up. I should have had this in the collection a long, long time ago. So, guys, like, subscribe, and comment, get the chance, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.